I'm Andrew Noski, and today I'll be showing you how to make poor man's virtual reality glasses. Okay, let's get started. So here are the things you'll need. The most important part is the lenses. Here I've ordered a pair of $5 folding cardboard binoculars via Google Shopper. I'm going to take out the lenses and discard the rest. Now these come in many varieties, but the most important thing is they should have a 2.5 centimeter diameter and the focal length will be about 8 centimeters. So what I'm going to do now is go to my wiki page, virtual reality glasses. I'm going to go to this test image or one of the test images, pinch it so that it fills up roughly the whole screen centered and put it here. Now just by holding these lenses the correct distance away you should be able to peer through and see 3D. So I can sanity check this here. This focal length should be approximately equal to this part, eight centimeters. Now, depending on your phone, you may need to make this section larger or smaller, smaller if it's an iPhone, for example. So this looks all good. What I'm gonna do now is just cut this thing out. So here I've printed onto 3D, or sorry, here I've printed onto photo paper. If you don't have a uh, letter size photo paper, you can just print onto normal paper and uh, stick that onto cardboard. There are several other materials you can print onto. I'll show you that later, but I really do like the glossiness of this photo paper. Now, we got to the eyes here, and the eyes are a little bit tricky. You could fold but uh, that would sort of damage the integrity a little. So I'm just going to take these nail scissors and actually punch through like this. Now, this is going to take a while to actually cut out, so I might fast forward through this region. Okay, so now that's done, what we can use small piece of sticky tape to attach the lenses inside here. Now, it doesn't really matter which way. I'm putting it with the convex facing out, but it does not really matter. Hopefully that will lock into place. Excellent. All right, so now we can fold the glasses. Uh, you could use a, roll, a ruler, sorry, to help you fold like this, but uh, I'm just going to fold with my fingers for now. I think that should be fine. So as you can imagine, this is fairly flimsy, but you'll see the advantage soon. Now, to finish it off, we're going to... Oops, I just dropped the camera. Uh, to finish this off, we're going to wrap around, stick the top bit to the bottom. Now in my various templates, you'll see I usually have uh, little pieces or little tabs that you can glue. Actually not a big fan of glue, so just using scotch tape here instead. So believe it or not, this is now done. Here I have a test stereo pair image playing and so what I can do is put this in the phone and by looking through I should be able to see 3D and I can. So we could stop there um, but advantage of this particular design is that you can make it fold. So let's fold now along these dotted lines. There. In there. And so an advantage of this is you can just now store this in your pocket and take it with you wherever you want. Um, the disadvantage is as you fold it out now it's never going to be quite as rigid but uh, it's still pretty darn good.
So now, if you don't care about it being foldable, I do have a second page. My second page of my template has two side sections, which will remove outside glare, a middle, so you won't see from one side to the other, and even these little uh, eye cups, so you can be more immersed. Now, here is one I prepared earlier. This is with the sides, the middle, and the eyepieces, and you would simply slide your phone into the side like this and stare through at the two images. Now personally I like the foldability of the glasses design but if you want something more immersive you have to go a step up and print out something that will actually strap to your face like these goggles here. Now this is a design by my friend David Koz and you can also print that out from the website. Goggles, I would definitely recommend a rigid material like poster board versus the photo paper we used for the glasses. Now, uh, you'll notice here, phone slides in, we have used black masking tape. I've used black masking tape here because uh, you don't want reflections. It's kind of the ideal color, basically some of this stuff. Don't forget that uh, everybody's face is different. Um, so you may want to actually take this template and move the eyes a little bit further apart or closer together. Not everyone actually sees 3D straight away, so you, you may have to play around a little bit with different focal length before it stands out for you. Um, yeah, faces aren't different. You may want to adjust uh, this part of the template as well. Uh, that's about it, but a quick note on materials before I go. I've mentioned the photo paper. This is poster board. If you are uh, got poster board, you'll definitely need a Stanley knife to, to cut it out. Um, cardboard is okay, uh, preferably thicker stuff. Manila folder actually isn't too bad if you're going to go for the glasses. And so I think that's about all the tips I can get. There'll be other tips on my site, plus... Uh, plus links to some other great tutorials such as the Open Dive, um, maybe a few stereo pair 3D images and any other software I find. Okay? Thanks for watching.